there is a two-part enzyme lab required for this unit. Part 1 requires students to watch the online experiment and fill in the provided chart accordingly. Part 2 is much more involved and requires students to pick one variable that will affect the rate of enzyme activity such as temperature, pH, a competitive inhibitor, etc. You will then design an experiment to test the effects of the variable you picked on enzyme activity. Remember, you are designing the experiment. You do not actually do the experiment yourself. Recall that an experiment must be repeatable. It is important that the instructions in your procedure are so detailed that you can send the experiment to scientists in 10 different countries and they will all perform the experiment in the exact same way. For the experiment, you will use the same substrate and enzyme as used in the online experiment that you watched to fill in your chart. Your experimental design must include an introduction, a purpose, a hypothesis, a materials list, a detailed procedure, and some way for the experimenter to report out, such as a table, a graph, and three to five questions that can be answered by performing the experiment. Good luck with your assignment and be sure to ask your teacher if you need any help.